Maybe you have seen this viral Instagram UI trend. There's a reel or a picture at the top and on the bottom and something slides across the caption. It's going pretty viral and in this video I show you exactly how to do this in just a few simple steps. You can follow along with me or you can check the link down in the description below where I've prepared everything for you. The fusion macros and the screen overlays. It's easier than you think and it looks very cool. So in the link down below there's three things for you. The first is the screenshot. We need the screenshot for reference. The second screenshot is here with the green screen and I've put some masks over it so I can fully customize it. And the third one is the macro that you can import into DaVinci Resolve. So you have the whole node tree in the Fusion page and you can customize it fully by yourself. So I've done all the work for you. You just need to download it and customize it as you want it to have. So first we need here the screenshot of the Instagram UI and then open this one up in the Fusion page. So right now you have the media in and the media out. Make sure you download the macro I've mentioned down earlier. Don't worry, it's completely for free and you need to save it on this specific path. I've got here the path for Windows and for Mac and make sure it's exactly in that place. When you've done that, you can go up here, open the effects tab, go here to templates and then you can scroll all the way down and somewhere here you should have Instagram UI. Just drag and drop it here in your Fusion and you have this whole node tree. Don't worry, it's overwhelming, but I will explain every single node so you know exactly what you need to change to have your own style into it. Make sure your media out is here all the way at the end, disconnect it. Your media in should be all the way at the beginning. Connect it with the first merge and connect here the last node with the media out and boom you have a fully prepared Instagram UI you can fully customize. Of course you can build this by yourself. I will explain exactly what I've done. First let me remove here the green screen so you can better see what I've done. So as you can see I've renamed everything. So the first thing here is the green screen up here. I've put just over the image here the green screen so I can move it. The second is also the green screen here I put below. The black one and black two are just some masks I've put over the caption here. So this caption disappears and I can create my own caption. And the next one is here from the logo and the name to have this disappeared. So I can connect here my own caption right here where I want to have. Maybe I want to put an emoji down there my name on the caption and my name on the logo and of course my logo. So you can just go here to caption and write your own caption that you want to have. You can customize your emoji, you can change your name, your logo, everything. So you see it's perfectly prepared and at the end here's just a delta here to remove the green screen. So we have no green screen here, we can put our video behind and mask it over the caption. If you don't want to download the macro, just make a screenshot here from what I've done and then you can fully build it by yourself. But to keep this video simple and effective, I will go on to the next step. So when we've done all that, we go back to the edit page. And now all you need is a video that we can put behind this image and to mask it out so it goes over the caption here. For that, select your image and put it onto the second layer. Then grab your video. I've simply got here a video from me just jumping here. First, I need to adjust here the image slightly down so it really looks like I'm jumping over it. Because we removed the green screen, it just looks like I'm behind here at the caption. And of course, when here I come down from this jump, I want to be in the foreground of the caption. So that means I set here a cut and copy this above the image. So it covers the whole screen. And this is the part we need to mask out. Then with the upper clip, I go into the Fusion page. With the media in one selected, I hit Shift and Spacebar, type in Magic Mask. And now I simply mask out myself like that. Of course, click on Better and track it the whole clip. And once your tracking is finished, it really looks like I'm jumping over the captions here. That's it for the viral Instagram UI trend. I really hope this was helpful. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below. With that said, have fun creating and see you in the next one.